morning, hearts, and welcome to today's segment of VGSN. I'm Raul. And I'm Mariana. Today we will be taking a look at children getting the COVID vaccine, scholarships, credit recovery, yearbook, and Michelle Obama's new show. And as always, sports. We'll start today with our forecast. Today we woke up seeing lots of fog with a high of 56 and a low of 39. Wednesday is looking rainy with a high of 69 and a low of 52. Thursday we have thunderstorms with a high of 55 and a low of 31. The first children now have Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine as part of the first pediat pediatric clinical trial. <laughs> About 6,700 children in the U.S. and Canada between the ages of 6 months and 11 years old are now participating. They are getting two doses of the vaccine spaced about 28 days apart. As the trial continues, some children will be getting a place vote. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration authorized emergency use of Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine for adults in December. Um. All seniors that are going to college or trade school should keep the deadlines for most local scholarships on this Wednesday, the 17th. If you see Ms. Schimpf for the paper application for the BG Alumni Association on this site, goingmary.com, you can see which scholarship you qualify for and you can apply for almost all local scholarships here in Bridge Grove. For more information, you can talk to Mrs. Matthews. Next week, students will ha with an FR in any subject will have to go to credit recovery to make up for that class, to change it from an FR to a D minus. So if you have a 49.5% or less, be prepared to do some work during the first week of spring break. Students, be sure to get your yearbook this week. All books are on sale price before spring break. You can pick one up online here at yearbook or the center.com for $40. There are limited books available, and 120 have already been sold. So you can search Beach Grove Senior High School on the site to make your purchase. In her new Netflix series, she's trying to get kids excited about it. Mrs. Obama plays a supermarket owner in her new show, Waffles and Mochi. If you want to be great chefs, today on you have to learn about all her kinds of different. Her co-stars are two puppets who are trying to become chefs. chefs. Plenty of real-life celebrities also make guest appearances. The former first lady also serves as executive producer for the show. The show is meant to promote healthy diets and exercise for children. Many of us are filling all brackets this week for March Madness. Our BG and Sports Department went out and went ahead and broke down the brackets for us. As many of you already know, Selection Sunday for the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament was this past Sunday. For the East Bracket of March Madness, Michigan is the number one seed and will take on the winner of Mount St. Mary's and Texas Southern in the first four. The winner of the SEC Tournament, Alabama, is number two in the East and will take on Iona. The 6th ranked BYU will take on the winner of Michigan State and UCLA also in the first four. Texas will play ACU, LSU will take on St. Bonaventure, Colorado plays Georgetown, Florida State will play UNC Greensboro, and UConn will take on Maryland. That's the lowdown on the East region. Now here's Cameron Brown with some insight on the West region. In the West region, the NCAA March Madness Tournament, Gonzaga will face the winner of Norfolk State and Appalachian State. Oklahoma will face Missouri. Korean will face UCSB, Virginia will face Ohio, U USC will face the winner of Wichita State and Drake, Kansas will face East Washington, Oregon will face VCU, I will face Grand Canyon, that's all for the West Region, let's now toss it over to Jace Hodge for the Midwest Region. In the Midwest Region, we have the Big Ten Champions, number one Illinois versus 16 Drexel, number eight Royal Chicago versus number nine AC ACC Champions Georgia Tech, Five Tennessee versus 12 Oregon State, four Oklahoma State versus number 13 Liberty, number six San Diego State versus number 11 Syracuse, number three West Virginia versus four Moorhead State, seven Clemson versus 10 Rutgers, number two AAC Champions Houston versus 15 Cleveland State. Here's Jacob Skinner, the South Region. Baylor and Harper will be facing off in the first round of the NCAA tournament. North Carolina and Wisconsin will also be facing off in the first round. Villanova and Winthrop will be facing off in the first round. Purdue and North Texas will be facing off as well. Texas State and Utah State will be facing off. Arkansas and Colgate are facing off. Florida and Virginia Tech are facing off. And Ohio State, in the first time ever appearing in the NCAA tournament, 15 seed Oral Roberts will be facing Ohio State Buckeyes. 
the Field of 68 is set for what will be a great March Madness. Games begin this Thursday and will take place throughout Indiana, so don't forget to tune in. Track season has arrived and Coach Chap has some news for us. If you are currently signed up on final forms to participate in the 2021 track season, there will be an optional spring break practice at 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. First meet will be after spring break at, on April 6. For more information or if you are interested in this year's track season, please email Mr. Taft at jtaft at bgcs.k12.in.us. That's all for today, Arnett. Be sure to hit that bell icon to get notified everyone every time we go live. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter at Beach Grove Student News. I'm Raul. And I'm Ariana. Have a terrific Tuesday, Hornets. Be Hornets. We will be after. <laughs> be safe.